Hey there guys, how's it going out there? My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3! Uh, very glad to have you guys here today, thanks for deciding to check the video out, but before we get too far into introductions, I'm going to let the opening cutscene play out, so sit back and enjoy. Sorry babe, I'm an ambitious girl. <laughs> Small time. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low but my hands are all messed up so you better drive brother Alrighty, so now that we finally got through all that wow what an exciting start to the game um welcome guys to my let's play of grand theft auto 3 uh, now that i finished my let's play of vice city stories this will be the new grand theft auto let's play on my channel for the time being so yeah, I hope you guys are excited as I am to jump into this game. Once again, like Vice City Stories, I have never beat Grand Theft Auto 3. I played a very short bit of the game. Um, I rented it from Blockbuster once, and I didn't really get too into it, to tell the truth. Um, I had originally played Vice City the first time I had ever picked up a Grand Theft Auto game. And so going back to 3 felt kind of a step backwards, but you know what? Um, it's been some time, and I'm excited to get into the game to see what I've been missing out on all this time, because this is the game that started it all. Um, the first 3D Grand Theft Auto game for the uh, PlayStation 2. We play a man by the name of Claude Speed as our main protagonist. Um, those of you who saw my Let's Play of San Andreas may recognize him and the woman that shot us at the start of the game, Catalina. And uh, in San Andreas, they were kind of just cameo characters, but this is the game that they're originally from. And um, San Andreas was kind of a precursor to show how the two of them met up in the first place and began dating. Uh, Catalina, sort of our girlfriend, I guess, but also our partner in crime. And she betrayed us and got us sent off to jail. But luckily, um, that surprise raid on the police vehicle enabled us to get away as well, although now the bridge is taken out. So we only have access to half of Liberty City. Which, um, if you guys haven't played a Grand Theft Auto game before, right Liberty City is basically a mock-up of New York City, you can probably tell that. But yeah, so this is a game of redemption, of reclaiming some vengeance against Catalina for screwing us over in that bank heist at the start of the game. So, uh, we're here at our safe house, which 8-Ball has lovingly provided to us. Um, safe houses usually have a garage that you can store your vehicle in and a save spot so you can save your game and load up and stuff like that. Um, save your game also advances time forward a couple of hours, I think about six or eight hours. Don't know exactly what it is off the top of my head, but anyway. 
Uh, we're now going to drive 8-ball over to Luigi's. And I've played a little bit of this game, but to tell the truth, it was such a long time ago that I've pretty much forgotten all about it. And even back then, I only got a couple missions into the game before I returned it to Blockbuster, so most of this is going to be a blind run. And damn, 8-Ball, your hands got messed up bad. Good luck trying to masturbate like that. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Okay, I'll wait out here while you talk to Luigi. So yeah, if I recall correctly, Luigi's kind of a, an underground mobster here in Liberty City. He works with the uh, Leon family. Paul's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Mr. The fuck? Do I look like a cab driver to you? Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. Hey, I'm just saying, if she makes a move on me, I'm not gonna stop her. Claude's speed is one smooth criminal. Alright, yeah, so basic first mission of the game, just gonna go ahead and pick up a girl, and I don't think anything goes horribly awry in this one, it's pretty straightforward. Um, as you may have noticed, Claude doesn't really talk at all in this game. It's, uh, the only Grand Theft Auto game, I believe, that has a silent protagonist, and so, in all the cutscenes, he actually, for one reason or another, is a total mute. Which, actually, to me, makes the cutscenes kind of amusing, just because he never actually confirms or denies anything. He kind of just does these subtle nods every now and then. But, uh, yep, picking up Misty. Why are you at the hospital? Were you getting screened for STDs or something? Alright, so let's get her back to Luigi's in one piece. Um, quick note, I am playing this game on the PC. I downloaded it off of Steam. And I'm using a couple of mods you guys may or may not be able to notice. Um, in particular, the main mod I'm using is one that allows for higher quality textures on the cars so that they reflect light better. And I'm also using some mods that slightly improve the texture quality of the NPC models, um, as well as our own character model. But other than that, nothing too big or major. But wow, that was a lot of money for the first mission of the game. Usually you only get like a hundred bucks in these games. Alright, don't spank my bitch up. Again, Luigi, I'm not making any promises. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. Dear Claude, do you like me? No yes, spank. no, maybe. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Jesus. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. Damn, okay, someone pissed in his cornflakes today. But uh, yeah, like I was mentioning a second ago, I am playing this game on the PC. I'm using a gamepad controller, though, um, just because I prefer the feel of it. Well, let's grab that bat. Um, I prefer the feel of a gamepad controller compared to, like, a keyboard and mouse, so that's just my own personal preference. Um, the game is also available on the PS2 off the PlayStation Network. I think you could also get it on the original Xbox, and so you could probably play it on the Xbox 360 if you wanted to. Um, it's also available on iPhone and other mobile devices, and, yeah, I think that's everything. But, um, for the record, I am playing on the PC. Alright, so Luigi wants me to take a bat to this guy's face. Why don't I just run him over, though? Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can do this. And... get away from my bitches! Well, that was easy. Alright, so let's go ahead and take the car. Nice car, too. And, uh, for the record, I am going to just turn off the radio anytime I'm driving in the car, just to avoid copyright and that whole mess. Um, I do that in all my Grand Theft Auto Let's Plays, or any games that have a soundtrack in them that play while you're in a vehicle. It's just kind of a messy thing to have to deal with, and it's kind of ridiculous that you can't get away with playing music, but I have seen that happen before, where videos have gotten copyright strikes because of playing a soundtrack in the background of the game. So, you know, YouTube politics and bullshit, but we gotta deal with it. Anyway, going to go ahead and take the car over to Pain Spray. Um, basically, if you haven't played Grand Theft Auto before, Pain Spray is the location you take to to lose your wanted level. If the cops are after you or anything like that, or if your car is damaged and you want to repair it so it doesn't blow up or something, then uh, you take it here and you pay a nominal fee. Whoa, it actually costs a thousand dollars in this game. Uh, usually, it only costs a hundred in most other Grand Theft Autos. Um, it seems like they're making things more expensive in this game. But at the same time, you're being rewarded with more money for doing your missions. Kind of interesting. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and drive it to the lockup. Um, 
Oh, that little thing we just drove over, the little badge, that's basically a police bribe. If you drive through that or walk through that, then it reduces your wanted level by one star. Um, I don't know that I've actually explained this yet, but wanted levels in this game, basically when you commit a crime, you receive a wanted level, and the higher it gets, the more actively the police try and pursue you. So a higher wand level means that, um, say with a one-star wand level, the cops really don't care that much about apprehending you. Once you get to two or three stars, then they kind of get serious. At four and five, they start bringing in SWAT teams and FBI and stuff like that, and at six, you bring in the army, because at that point, you're basically a national threat. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and race on back. And I think we got one more time for another mission for Luigi. These opening missions are pretty short, so I'll probably be able to fit in quite a few of them into every episode. Um, like my Vice City Stories Let's Play, I'm looking to keep these episodes to about 15 minutes apiece. Got some work for me, Luigi? How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo Turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Mmm, twisty Misty. The, oh, oh, I mean, uh, yeah, well, sure, we'll take her right to Joey. Why not? So, yeah, Joey Leone actually, um, we'll probably bump into Salvatore Leone. I never got far enough into the game to meet him the first time I played, but I know he appears in this game as a pretty major character. Um, Salvatore Leone was also in San Andreas. We did a couple missions for him as Carl Johnson back at the Caligula's Casino in Las Venturas. And um, he's a pretty cool cat. He's a cold, hard mobster, but uh, we actually interact quite a bit more with him in this game. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, hey there, Misty. Uh, gotta be honest, not the best prostitute I've ever seen in my time in Grand Theft Auto. And I'd give her about a five or six. And that's sort of being generous, but whatever. Whatever Joey wants, Joey gets. And, um, yeah, Luigi also mentioned that this is Diablo Turf. I don't think that really plays too much into this mission specifically. But, um, I do remember that Grand Theft Auto 3 had a lot of emphasis on gangs. A lot more so than, say, like, Vice City or a game like that. Just off the top of my head, I know of the Diablos, the Leones, kind of like the Mafia family. Uh, the Triad, who are kind of like the Chinese version of the Mafia. And, uh, I think the Yakuza are somewhere in this game. Because I've seen character art for guys who kind of look like they're Yakuza. But, um, I've never actually gotten far enough into the game to actually see it myself. But anyway, here we are at Joey's Garage. Joey! Joey Wheeler! Am I gonna get to play with your big hands again? I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Yeah, okay, I didn't hey, need to I'm see Joey. that. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some more. I can't talk! Right? I can't say anything! God, I don't know why that's just so funny to me. He just, he never talks. But yeah, okay guys, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap off the episode, though. Um, probably next time we're gonna go work for either Luigi or Joey, I'm not really sure which, but we'll go ahead and decide that in the downtime. But um, anyway guys, I hope that this has been a fun introduction to the game for you, and I hope that you're excited to see more. What the hell is wrong with that guy? He's walking around like he's drunk. Um, but I hope that you guys are excited to see more. I'm definitely excited to play some more of this game. I really think it's going to be a lot of fun, so if you want to stick around and be updated any time that I post new videos to this series or any of my other uploads, then uh, feel free to subscribe to me. Once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla, and by subscribing to me, you can just be kept in the loop when all that stuff goes down. But um, anyway, guys, I'm starting to get a little bit of vertigo from the camera angle shifting around so much, so I think I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. But thanks again for checking the video out, and until next time, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!